You're listening to Theme Party with Katie and Daniel and uh, you're on Joy 94.9. We're having a great time here listening to the interview we did with Cassidy Haley a couple we of are. weeks ago in the Joy studio. It's bringing back big memories for us. Oh, it we really kind of, is. We kind of fell in love with Cassidy that day. Yeah. Hey, Cass, if you're listening. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> We were a bit cheeky with him, but uh, he put up with it and uh, and we uh, ended up showing him a little bit of Melbourne and yep. uh, taking him down to Kesaraz Bazaar that afternoon where he did a gig that night yes. and it was very, very special. So N- just to reiterate, that gig, not tonight. No. Don't be going down to Kesaraz Bazaar and waking her up. You'll be sadly disappointed. And knocking on the front door and, yeah, you will be. If you missed out on the gig, um, really it sorry. to be you. Yeah, because it was great. and it uh, was. But... You know, fingers crossed he'll come back to Melbourne sooner rather than later yeah. and he'll do another gig there. Yeah. And it'll be packed. I hope so. Yeah. And uh, look, we've been tweeting uh, everything about this show tonight at our tweet, Twitter, Joy Theme Party. Mm-hmm. Been getting a few messages in, Daniel. We've got uh, Coco listening in Hong Kong. Excellent. Which is lovely. Hello, Coco. Uh, Hi, Amanda's Coco. listening, as I said before, in, uh, in uh, Windsor. Yep. And she says she's loving the interview and she's dancing around her living room. Yay. Excellent. Uh, Sammy says uh, she, she laughed when I asked about the muse for Babalu. <laughs> Babalu. I keep on calling it Babalu because that's how it's spelt. Yeah. But it's actually it's Babalu. Babalu. Um, y- yeah. Well, you know, I'm a fearless journalist. What can I tell you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that. Okay. I, I, I go in there with... Uh, Heavy shoes and tromp all over everything. Yeah, yeah, all, all guns blazing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you ask the hard questions. His answer was cute. It was. What can I say? <laughs> I was wearing the wrong headphones again, listener. I don't know why I kept doing that. Anyway, we hope you're enjoying the show. And if you'd like to send us a message on Twitter, you can. It's Joy Theme Party. Mm-hmm. Or if you're not on Twitter, you can send us an SMS 0427 Joy 949. Correct. Or you can email on air at joy.org.au. Or you, or you can give Robbie a call on 1300 Joy 949. And if you're not on Twitter and you want all these links, because I have been posting links to all the videos mm-hmm. and the website and everything else uh, that we're talking about here on the show tonight, we'll put them on our blog yep. uh, so that you can uh, see, see those things. So uh, go to our page at at the Joy website, joy.org.au slash theme party, mm-hmm. and you'll find a link to our blog there. Awesome. All right. Let's hear some more from Kat. Let's do that. Welcome back to Theme Party on Joy with Katie, Nat and Daniel, and our guest on Celebrity Theme Party this week is Cassidy Haley. Cassidy, uh, I'd like to just ask you a little bit about the queer arts scene in LA, mm. uh, which is where you're based. Yeah. Um, if uh, any of our listeners were, were taking a trip to LA and wanting to check it out... Where would you recommend they go if they want to, you know, see some queer arts? I guess. Well, gosh, these days um, there's uh, there's quite a bit going on. Um, and in fact, some friends of mine are doing this this big thing at Mocha right now, which is a, a really well established museum, and they're bringing um, kind of a, a queer arts installation and dance Fantastic. to this really conventional, well-established museum. Of contemporary museum. Art? Uh-huh. Yep. Yeah. I'm thinking of Mugga Mugga. Yep, yep, yeah. exactly. Museum exactly. of Contemporary Art. So, uh, yeah, I mean, there's, it's really, uh, there's a, a wide variety yep. of places that, uh, uh, you know, that one could go to yep. see that. Um, I, I live downtown, downtown mm-hmm. LA, which is really kind of a burgeoning scene of um, interesting queer artists. Yep. Um, I perform at a place called Mustache Mondays quite a bit, mm-hmm. which there's some pretty well-established musical acts and performance artists, um, really uh, eccentric drag performers perform there. So that would be definitely a place to check out. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it's 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 an amazing thing that's happening down there. I mean, it's just like really well connected in the media and my, my roommate's a drag queen actually yeah. she she was in Lady Gaga's uh, telephone video Ooh. so <laughs> it's interesting how much the it's, it's spilling over into yeah. the mainstream culture it really right is now. isn't it yeah yeah yeah, yeah. a mm-hmm. lot of artists out, out there are thankfully pushing the boundaries we're loving it yeah, mm-hmm. mm, yeah. so um, good okay well uh, let's play um, one of your choices uh, Mike Snow track ah uh, yes you asked for Sylvia yes tell I us, love tell that us song tell us about uh, Mike Snow and why you chose the track? Well, you know, I mean, for me, it's like uh, I am really a, a song-based kind of purveyor of music. So it's like 
I hear songs that just catch me. And so, I, I, to be honest, I actually don't know that much about Mike Snow. Oh. But, oh. Uh, we, played, we played a track. We played one of their tracks a couple of weeks ago. They're a Swedish band. Okay. Yeah. I didn't even know that, but <laughs> that a, song. I thought it was an individual guy, but yeah. no, it's a band. Three piece really? Band. His name's yeah. not Mike Snow? No. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there you go. But see, for me, it's just it's songs that catch yep. me. And this yep. song in particular, Sylvia, just like, um, you know, it just caught me at a specific time in my life. Uh, I, I, I think I, I heard it a little late in the game from when it was released. Yep. It was only about like four or five months ago. Mm-hmm. But um, it just cemented something that I was feeling and experiencing at that time. And now I just, every time I hear it, it just brings me right back Fantastic. to that moment. So, Okay, well, here's Sylvia from Mike Snow on Joy 94.9. Joy 94.9, you're on Theme Party with Katie and Daniel, and that track was Sylvia by Mike Snow. Chosen, awesome. beautiful, beautiful gorgeous. track, chosen by our guest, who's also gorgeous, yes, Cassidy Haley from LA, who was in Melbourne two weeks ago. And all this show, we've been playing excerpts of an interview we did with him in the Joy Studios mm-hmm. two weeks ago. We've come to the last bit. Oh. I know, but uh, as we said before, we'll whack this. Uh, we'll find somebody's taped this, and we'll, it'll be on the web within minutes. And we'll tweet you a link to it, yep. and we'll put it up on our uh, our blog. Also, go to joy.org.au/slash/themeparty or on Twitter, Joy Theme Party, and you'll find all the links you need. Correct. So here's the last part. Thanks for listening, and we hope you've enjoyed it. Yep. And we certainly have. We will see you next week. We will. Thanks for coming. We've come to the end of the show almost. But oh, that's got, too bad. We're going, to, we're going to go out with a track that's a choice of yours. Yes. Oh, it's Moon River. Ah, uh, uh, yes. Sung by Audrey Hepburn <laughs> in, uh, in Breakfast at Tiffany's. What a lovely choice. Yeah, well, you know, it's um, I, cons- I consider myself a rather um, progressive uh, queer man <laughs> in that I don't necessarily follow all of the, um, you know, homosexual tendencies one would expect. But uh, that song in particular is... You know, where I, I definitely do. Oh, it's a beautiful, beautiful <laughs> yeah. song. As much as it's a cliche, yeah. uh, things become cliches for a reason, and it's always been one of my favourites. Yeah. As, a, as a singer myself, I uh, I think that it's the most beautiful melody. It is, um, it is. And, you know, as like you said, as cliche as it may have become, mm. it just it's it got there for a reason. Exactly, you know? exactly. So, uh, you know, when I first discovered the song, I just downloaded every version I could find sung by anyone and wow. just put them all on repeat. Um, and that you know version was definitely the first kind Do of introduction. Do you sing it yourself? I, it's on my album. Ah. It's on the Fool actually. It's the one cover that I put on the Fool. Wonderful. Um, but uh, and particularly in that movie, which is just I can just relate so much to what that character goes through. You know, she's yep. just like trying so hard to be successful yeah. and just like putting on the show all the time. Yeah. And then, but that one moment in the movie is the one moment where she just lets it all go and just is so real about yep. how sad it is for her to just. You know, it's like her her striving for success comes from this loneliness. You mm. know that, so I can really, oh. I can relate to that a lot. Shivers down the spine. <laughs> okay, well, thanks very much for coming into it's Joy been Studios. My pleasure. It's been great to talk to you, Cassidy, and uh, we wish you well with all your endeavours. Thank you. We'll certainly yeah. be looking for the new video in January. Too. Yeah, and to all the listeners out there, you know, you should definitely check out my stuff, CassidyHaley.com. Um, you guys are going to put a, you had a link somewhere, yep. right? Absolutely. Great. So I'm def- I love Australia and I'm come back looking to us for soon. New yeah. fans here. So yep. yes, I'm going to try to book a, a you know a proper tour here, not too long from now. Excellent. Excellent. All right, we'll look forward to it. Thanks again, and uh, we'll go out with Moon River uh, from Audrey Hepburn on Joy 94.9.